Hello, today I want to show you the functionality of the five port four talk group ICRI, which stands for the Incident Commander's Radio Interface. Here you see that we have five radio ports. We also have a port for a sat phone and we have a port for a handset, which is already connected. And above each of those ports, we have the talk group selection. So what the talk group selection allows you to do is to break into groups, different people or different responders that might come to your event. For instance, if you have a fire department there, you have a police department, you have a state emergency management there, you could break them into three separate groups so that they can't talk to each other, or you can put them all in the same group so that when they want to, they can all talk to each other. And the incident commander is the one that controls that, and he can also talk to any of the groups by selecting the correct switch on the ICRI. Right now, we're gonna show you how these two radios can be connected together through the ICRI to talk to each other. We have a Motorola system here, and we have a Realm system over there. One is connected on port one and one on port five, but they're in the same talk group, so when we talk across it, you'll hear one uh, when you talk to the other one. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Right, so each radio talk to each other now. Testing one, two, three. All right, and you see that both radios heard the incident commander because they were on the same talk group. Now let me take talk group one, or and switch to talk group one for the realms, and now you'll see when the commander talks. Testing one, two, three. We're only hearing it on the Motorola system because they're not in the same talk group. And now I'll switch them back. And I'll show you uh, a couple accessories that we have for this ICRI. On the side of it, we have a radio a port that's designed for a regular POTS telephone. We also have a port for a, a voice over IP phone. Yes. And then we have what's called a link port adapter. We have a port that allows you to connect more than one ICRI together. And so what we have set up right now is we are taking our telephone port and connecting a cell phone with an adapter. We'll demonstrate the cell phone yes. use. I have somebody calling in to this phone off their cell phone and you'll see that they're able to talk to the radios that are connected to that same talk group. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. Hello, this is one, two, three, four, five. All right, so you see right there that the cell phone was connected to all of the radios and the incident commander because they were all on the same talk group. So we don't have to use a hard connection. We've, uh, we have a Bluetooth option where you can just Bluetooth in like any other Bluetooth device. So right now we're powering this off of a, a battery pack that has eight uh, AA batteries, mm -hmm. but you could also use a cigarette lighter adapter, you could use uh, alligator clips to a battery, or you could use an AC plug. So we have all of those uh, available, whatever type of power you need. This will run off of either 110 or 220 volt. Uh, AC also runs off DC anywhere from seven and a half volts up to 28 volts DC. And then there's a, a low battery indicator that will come on when the batteries start to get uh, down to about the eight volt range. And uh, that lets you know that you've got about an hour of battery life left and you should replace your batteries as soon as you can. There's another feature that we're not showing here and that is the ability to extend the ICRI into a tunnel or an area where there is no uh, propagation of the radio waves and so you would simply connect it up to one of the radio ports it's uh, we have a 250 foot reel or a 500 foot reel and you can extend that and link them together up to a total of about 5,000 feet I think this pretty much explains all of the features of this particular model of the ICRI and I thank you for your time